Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to see how we can actually tie our Power Automate or a flow with a content type specifically. So there are scenarios where one of the list can contain multiple content types and you wish to create one sort of flow for one type and the other sort of flow for another type. So I'm, I'm just taking one example of my this impanelment list, so which is in my dev site and I'm already having two content types pointed with this list. One is part of form, another is vendor form. So these are uh, tied up with the different different columns. So if you look at this partner form is kind of like much lengthier, and this vendor form is kind of like uh, a few details. But I wish to have the two set of flows to run specifically for these two different content types. So uh, probably like I may wish to have just one step of approval process for my partners because partners are already in panel or I can trust my partners. And with a vendor where I just need to impanel a new vendor, so probably I may look for a few further details or multi-level of approval process. So I wish to have like two different flows for these content types. So now we are going to take a look how we can actually trigger a one flow based on this content type itself. So for that, we are going to uh, into our Power Automate and I am going to create one new flow. And this flow, I'll start from blank flow. And I'll just say in trigger when item is created. And I'll just connect to my dev site and pick my list as in panel list. And over here, I'll just use one send email action. Nothing more than that because we are just going to see like how the flow gets triggered. Uh, the approval. Uh, flow actually you can watch my other videos how you can create a full fledged approval flow for any of the process so for this demonstration i'll just use this test action as sending the flow uh, sending the approval for me itself so i'll just say subject as uh, flow triggered and i'll just append that with the dynamic value and i'll just use this content type and in body, I'll just say hello. And I'm just saving it for once because we are going to do a test run so that we can see the output of this item created JSON. And after that, we'll just uh, actually set up that trigger condition for the content types. So I'm just creating one vendor form. So I'll just say test vendor and I'll just completing the mandatory field and just saving it for the test purpose. And we'll just wait for our this simple flow to trigger just to look at the output data. So our flow ran successfully and we must have got an email which we'll just verify. All right, so there's the flow uh, with the content type ID we got and name is vendor form. This is the detail of that content type. So now uh, why have actually uh, triggered this one because we just wish to have a look on our output of this first first trigger condition if i just go to click to download and if i try to find out my content type then i would see like i can see only the content type id and there is no mention of the content type name so i but i wish to have my this trigger condition based on the content type name so how to do that so for that we'll just add it our flow once again and now we are going to do the setup condition. We are going to settings and we'll just set up one trigger condition. And in this trigger condition, we are going to specify the column name. So as I was showing you that this uh, content type, the output detail, so we are not having any content type name property. So that's where the trick is. We have to actually uh, write in that property manually by ourselves. So I'll show you how to write that. So this is my this uh, notepad like where I have written this condition equals trigger body and the content type and then slash name. So it will actually give me the name of the content type. So right now in the body, we, I don't see that, but internally it will check for that. So right now you can see like in my site, I was having these two uh, content types, custom content types, partner form and vendor form. So for this flow, I'll just put my condition as this partner form so my flow should only trigger if i'm just creating the item or the uh, the item which is of type content type as partner form so i'll add this condition as and just say done and again save my flow 
So if I wish to trigger or create a new item with vendor form again, so let's just do that as vendor two. So now it will not trigger my flow, a new instance of my flow because the trigger condition was checked with only partner form. So whenever you wish to create separate flows for different contract types, we have to set the trigger condition. So I'll just wait just to verify for a few minutes and then we'll create another item with a partner form just to validate that uh, we are, our flow is triggering on the partner form. So we waited for already four or five minutes. So vendor form did not trigger. I'll just create a partner form now. And with partner form, I'll just say test partner and fill out the mandatory fields and just say save and now we'll just wait our flow to trigger so this time it should trigger so this partner form triggered and we got an email and this email is related to if you see in the name of the content type is partner form so that's how we can decide we can bind our flow to specific content types only and uh, have that flow initiated or you can handle the multiple things in, in a single list with this custom content types and just give you a glimpse like how you can actually associate the content type if you already know that's good if you don't then you have to go to the list settings and you have to go to the advanced settings to enable the content types allow management of content type and once you say that as okay then you you will be allowed to create or add the existing content type so from this add from existing content type you can go you can add your custom content type and if you wish to create a new one, then you have to go to this site settings and in the site content types, you can create your new content type and content type basically like it's a collection of fields which can be plugged in or uh, to any of the list to provide a custom uh, behavior. So that can be done. And with a create content type, you can ex uh, modify or create the, ex add the existing site columns or create a new one as well. So I, I am sure like you already familiar with the content type concept, but this is just a trick like how you can associate your flow with one specific content type with this quick tip. So this is it for today. If you like this tip, do drop your comment and like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. That's it for today.